Hey friends, my name is Alan Lee with Honestly Handyman Services, and today I want to show you guys how to rescreen a regular window screen. The process is fairly simple. First, you start off with removing the screen from the window and then laying it out on a workbench. And really, you're only going to need a razor blade and a screen spline tool. What you're going to start with is removing the spline, and this is the rubber. Um, cord that runs all the way around the screen and this is what actually holds the screen material in and you can see in this video I am removing all the spline material and then the screen really just pops right out start from the corner and just pull it right off because the only thing that was holding it on was the old spline material and then you're gonna go ahead and grab some new screen that you can purchase from Home Depot or Lowe's and you're gonna want to lay it out with a little overlap on each side I usually leave you know three to four inches of overlap on each side this is a roll so just cutting the roll to size leaving a few inches of overhang on each side because if you don't leave enough over overhang uh, you might end up not having enough screen when you're all done because the spline does suck that in when you put new spline on anyways so then you're gonna want to take some new spline or if your old spline is in good enough condition you can reuse that as well and start that from a corner and on one side of the spline tool has just just an arrowed um, roller that you just roll one side down you put your spline in starting on a corner and you just basically roll your spline right down obviously go with whatever whatever feels best if it feels best to start from the right rather than the left and start from the right that way you're moving forward rather than backwards and basically just work that spline in and as you can see as that spline goes in it really sucks the screen material in and as you go just watch for any kinks that happen in the screen material because you can always undo the spline material and just redo it real quick like I did here I just removed it real quick and I'm gonna do it again just in that corner one more time just to get rid of that little wrinkle that was in that screen so really it's no big deal and then you just go on each corner or each side and you basically just continue it as you go you don't really need to worry so much about getting the screen super tight because the screen will tighten up as you put the spline in um, so it's it's pretty self-explanatory there just roll the splines in as you go and then once you finish your last corner with the spline material you're going to want to cut the spline to the appropriate size and then take a look at the screen see if you like the tension of it and the layout of it and then if you do then go ahead and cut that spline off just to make it um, just to make it straight there and then you're going to want to go around your screen and cut off the excess material now this is uh, can be a tricky process you want to make sure that you um, go gently with your razor blade because if you slip and fall into the screen with your razor blade you will cut that screen very easily and you will have to start over and this does happen from time to time um, sometimes you're getting a little too over over the head and you just go for it and um, it doesn't cut it correctly um, but pretty pretty simple process you just cut around cut the excess screen off right at the spline obviously on the outside of the spline not the inside of the spline um, and then when you're all done then you can go ahead and remove your old screen material uh, cutting off any excess things that you miss just going back figuring all that out and then uh, once you're all done with that you want to make sure everything is clean all the spline looks like it's fully in and then you're going to want to take a look at your screen make sure it looks good ready to go and then uh, if there's any extra spline material or things like that that you need to tighten up go ahead and do that at this point and then you're all done that's pretty much all there is to rescreening a screen Thank you all so much for tuning into this video. Again, this is Alan Lee with Honestly Handyman Services. And if you guys like videos like this, please check out all my other videos. I got a lot of DIY videos and also videos on how to start and run a handyman business. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below with any information that you might have or things that I left out that might have been better to add in. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the handyman journey. Thank you all so much for tuning in and hope you all have a great day.